Dear friend, do you suffer from man boobs? Are you ashamed to take your shirt off in public, get undressed in front of women, and let people see the way your chest looks? Well, you can cure those man boobs today. It is entirely possible to cure your man boobs forever without the use of drugs or surgery. There is nothing that feels better than being able to take your shirt off in public. What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? Y'all know how most men have a body part we want to increase in size. Well, we also got one that we always want to shrink in size, or at least in flabby size. And I'm talking about that chest. And this video is dedicated to my best tips on getting rid of man boobs and keeping them going permanently. But also, ladies, getting you involved in hitting chest maneuvers, too, because that is just as important for you to do as well. And believe me, I used to know I was an overweight lover. My issue was I didn't have a problem getting naked in front of women with man boobs. I'm just like, girl, you're going to take this good cake or leave it. If you're just now finding my channel for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so that you'll be down every time I drop a new video. Now let's go ahead and get into these fitness life gains, the gains that give you life. What's good YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Damn all everything sexy as hell host of the life gains channel bringing y'all that life gain today and the most important part of your life which is your fitness goals and we're talking about getting rid of man boobs and ladies you need to hit chest too i think i just got to continue to say that usually when you go into the gym on monday for men it's international chest day and usually for women is international leg day that's all you see the different sex groups hitting but it's important that both groups hit all muscles with intensity equally for the metabolic damage it does for the repair and growth that it does to your muscles and you just need it for general movement this thing is about health and fitness the aesthetics come next but since we are talking about getting rid of those man boobs it's important that you guys know and i'm not talking about someone who's got gynecomastia the condition when you've been taking steroids your whole life and you done got a built up of estrogen and now you really really got bigger breasts than holly berry and monsters ball i ain't talking about that i'm talking about you've got a lot of body fat your boobs look like they're sagging believe me i know y'all seen my pictures i was the same way you can't spot check fat loss but what you can do is hit muscles with enough intensity so that underneath that fat, while that muscle is growing and you're doing the right things to reduce the fat, you know, your skin won't be as bad when you lose the weight and you do activate some muscle tissue underneath that fat so that when you finally get the fat off, it won't take you as long to see the muscle. So let's go ahead and jump into my top five tips. And number one, and by the way, this is my footage of a good chest workout for man or female, either one. Take your, take your time, do this and get it in number one tip you have to find the right diet for you no matter which method you want to use whether you do keto paleo whatever you have to find the right diet that puts you in a caloric deficit that you can maintain for a long period of time without falling the hell apart so whatever that diet modality is you know base it on your lifestyle base it on how you currently eat base it on the frequency of how you eat Figure out the right diet for you based on your lifestyle that puts you in a caloric deficit and that's going to help you get rid of those man boobs. That's number one. Number two, and this is a big one, you work the muscle, not work the weight. So what I mean by that is, as you see on this set right here, I'm coming down with good form and I'm squeezing it up. I'm not herky jerky or nothing like that. I'm not bouncing the weight off my chest. I'm allowing my muscle to work the weight, not letting the weight work my muscle. So you basically want to be under control, good squeeze at the top, bring it down nice and low to really engage the muscle. You work the muscle. That's tip number two. Tip number three, you need to get in enough training sessions on those muscles week to week. 
So I'm talking about you need to get probably about a high volume, about 15 to 15 to probably about 18 sets on chest a week. And in this one workout, I got in probably about nine just in this one workout. So you want to hit the mus muscle with lots of volume throughout the week. Keep it activated. Keep bringing blood flow to that muscle so that it's having to keep building. And when you build muscle, it takes 72 hours. You can put your body in a 72-hour metabolic increase, meaning that you're burning more calories over a 72-hour period. The next one would be you need to variate your workouts. You know, don't just do chest press every time you go to the gym. Don't just do dumbbells every time you go to the gym. Switch it up. Do incline. Do decline. Do dumbbells. Do bar. Do um, flies across the top. Do bottom flies. Do flies with the dumbbells. Do flies with the machine. Train the muscle with as many angles as possible, with as many workouts as possible, and you will always keep stimulating muscle growth and you won't hit that plateau that we all hate when you've been doing this for a while. Number five, last, but probably the most important, probably the hardest one. And when you really think about it, you would think, oh, that's not hard, but this is harder than the whole diet itself. Number five is you must remain consistent for a long time. Meaning the whole regimen we just talked about, one through four, you've gotta keep doing it and not give up on it. That is probably the hardest thing that you do with this diet and fitness. You basically have to adopt it as a lifestyle. You can't take time off, you know, and God knows y'all know I'm a fat boy at heart. I wanna take time off fast. When I go buy Krispy Kreme, and I smell those donuts, man, I wanna just go run and jump right into the nut. Just put cream on my face, look like I done had my face somewhere it don't need to be at. But you can't do that. You can take a break off here and there, but it can't be a break that's a long break because in all honesty, statistics say, it takes about 21 days to build a good habit and it only takes seven days to break it. And the habit of how you eat is one of those that is just so hard to break because you probably have been doing this your whole entire life. So it's very hard to break that habit. Once you get your body and you're eating in a better position and you've done it and you held it consistently, do not take seven days off and break that habit because it's gonna be so hard. Everything in your life is gonna be pulling you back to the old habits. You know, everything in life is based around food, going out to the movies, popcorn, sneakers, bars, whatever going out to a dinner date you want to eat food then going to a luncheon with your friends is food um, going to a social they've got food and drinks everything revolves around food and when you finally put yourself in position to overcome one of the biggest issues in losing weight and getting fit you keep yourself there so that is my top five, and I'll just repeat them for you again so that you can write them down, you can understand them. You can always hit me up at www.facebook.com forward slash lifegains07. Follow me, get some tips. You can even hire me to help you online if you want. Number one, find the right diet for your lifestyle. Number two, work the muscle. Don't let the weight work you. Number three, lots of volume, 15 to 18 sets per week. Number four, do a variation of chest exercises, rotate them out, keep doing them, hit muscle from different angles. And number five, put a star by this one, remain consistent in your quest. Stay hungry, stay motivated. I'm trying to help you stay motivated. It took me about three years overall to go from 325 down to 195, 198, 10% body fat. It didn't happen overnight. It took me years of learning what was real, what was fake in terms of dieting and the bullshit that you see in the fitness industry. It took me a year to learn how to properly train. It took me a year to learn how to incorporate cardio. And then basically it took me six months to pull all those parts together to get the results that you see now. And ladies and gentlemen, you can do it. Let 2018 be that year that you make those life gains. I mean, put your health first. When you put your health first, Everything else in the life seems to come into balance because it's so much easier to balance all those other moving parts when you take the discipline to put your health first. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there, get yourself a life game. Let me know what you think about my top five tips to get rid of man boobs. 
Some of these can be top five tips overall for health and fitness anyway. And let me know what you guys are doing in the fitness world to hit your goals in 2018. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Gains.